so we're in uh, Chuen Zhou now and uh, just going for a little walk. It's beautiful and sunny, which is the theme of this tea trip is when we're in a tea region, it's raining. And when we're in a tourist area or on a rest day, it's beautiful and sunny, which is a little but bit... But you will change soon. It's going to change in uh, Taimushan and fooding. All right. So hopefully we'll have a few clips for you from uh, Chuen Zhou. <laughs> to get off. Hopping between the Anxi and Fuding tea regions, we had a one-night stop in Chuanzhou. It's famous for today's tea lovers as the origin of Anxi Taiguanyin and Dehua white porcelain. A major city in Fujian province, Chuanzhou is also a historically wealthy city, the start of the Maritime Silk Road. This history also reflects on the local culture and people. Jen says she likes Chuanzhou much more than some tourist places like Dali or Lijiang because it has a less touristy commercial setup and a more true indigenous culture. I totally agree with her. It would be worth staying here for a few weeks or even months to really get the vibe and feel for this city. So this street is an interesting combination of uh, western and uh, eastern sort of design. Pretty old, funky buildings. And the one on the corner here, oh, this sucks. The one on the corner here is apparently the oldest one. So we're just walking down that same alley I videoed earlier, and we're basically eating supper on the uh, fly with snacks. We just had some baozi. Now we're having some uh, fried chicken, which we're fairly infamous for, for having right before tea night, because uh, tea makes you super hungry, so you gotta have a good, you gotta have some good food in there. And now we're getting um, some of these little balls here, which are quite delicious. So we're gonna just basically, supper today will be snacks along this strip of uh, humanity that we're cruising down. Beautiful little street, really hip. Uh, it's basically pedestrian and uh, scooters, as you can see. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's got little uh, flowers on the ground. Just walking down a cute little alley where there's a pomegranate tree we just passed. Love the old buildings. Oh, this is a cute building too. Little tea house we just passed, and there's a dog scratching his butt. Strange mix of new and old. So some historic looking place. I haven't got the lowdown yet though. Figure that out soon. Crazy. This place is just hopping. This town is really cute. Really cute town to visit. So this is the uh, third Chinese pharmacy we've stopped at. The ladies are looking for something in particular. But every one we've been to, and several other shops too, all feature a little setup for the shopkeep to sip on tea while he waits for customers to stroll by. I just wanted to show you that, how ingrained tea culture is into, uh, into uh, Chinese people. It's pretty cool. Outdoor KTV, folks. Outdoor KTV. 
So we just jumped on a local mini bus sort of thing. We're cruising around, check out the scene. We've walked quite a bit, so now we want to, uh, you know, sit down and chill and still check out the scene. So that's what we're doing. Something crazy going on in there. Oh, this is funny. So this is what happens when you uh, overpark the scooter. There's going to be a scooter avalanche right now. This guy's going over. Getting pretty uh, up close and personal, and they all have alarms, so they're all going nuts. She's helping us get through here. Scooter Bonanza. And it looks like we're out of the woods. Just like that. <laughs> So I don't know, again, I don't know if we'll be able to see it well in the dark here, but off in the distance is a gorgeous park. Nicely lit up, a big lake in front of it, probably man-made, but really nice, uh, looks really nice in that temple in the middle. Some kids being goofy. Oh, I hope we go over that bridge. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So we seem to have arrived at some sort of a dancing park. If you thought that was a lot of aunties dancing, check this out. That's right, I'm gonna try and join in, I think, if I can. I don't know if they'll let me. They've got matching t-shirts, I don't have the right t-shirt. This is how you stay fit and have a great time with your friends. Oh, it's a class, there's a leader at the front. This is super cool. Oh, you don't need the t-shirt, you don't need the t-shirt. There's, there's an instructor at the front. So here we have a uh, dancing fountains somewhat like the Venetian however unfortunately the wind is blowing right in our face so everybody's standing quite a ways back to stay dry because there's lots of mist coming this way and it's uh, warm here but it's not that warm that you want to be wet at all really beautiful here and there's I don't know if you can see it in the camera but there's mountains in the background it's a little bit like a westerly, but a little bit smaller. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. This is called a westerly park. Kids are rocking it, crushing it. Just finished at the park and we're back on the minibus heading back oh he does a u-turn here and just go straight back that's great news I didn't know that in China you can do a u-turn wherever you want it doesn't matter you just do that slowly Everything will be fine. Here we go. Whee!
us to get off. So here is the hotel through this little mini alley. Uh, that's why we were a little bit afraid it would be a, well, frankly, a dump, but it's actually pretty nice. It's called uh, Hua He, whatever, it's called that. And we go in. Oh, darn. Oh, good, thank you. And then we come inside, and you see that it's beautiful. There's a tea table in the back there. There's a patio up top. Really pretty. Really pretty nice place. And uh, I think Jen's mom is just walking around, checking the place out. Okay, we're going to go take you up to the patio up here. They have really nice, they have little flowers and stuff all around. Really pretty. So we're wandering upstairs now. I'm in tilt lock, so it's a bit tricky to control the camera, but I'll try and do a good job. Uh -huh. So here's the patio. The floor is glass and uh, some of it's see-through. It's very uncomfortable to uh, step on because you feel like you're going to plummet to your death. I don't know if you can see that, but super scary. Jen loves that. She has no fear. I'm a little bit scared right now. And then there's the covered spot, and now I'm in the dark, so you can't see anything, but you can still hear me. Not much to see here, huh? And so that is, yeah, not much of a view, but you've got a nice little scene here under the patio. I love the dim lights. Mm -hmm, the dim little balls. Ball lights. All right. Let's go back down. We'll take you into the lobby, where there's another tea table. I'll try not to fall. <laughs> so here's the outdoor tea room with a concrete table. Just a really nice setup. So this is what we we were on top of a moment ago. And in here is the lobby. Really nice. And you've got yet another complete tea table set up right here.